and I owe you my kidney. If you think I'm going to waste a whole nother stocking cap just to re-put on a wig, you're smoking crack. Why do I have a ball of hair in my hand? Ah. Hello people in the internet, welcome, welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, I'll be showing you guys not only how I wash and reinstall my lace frontal wigs, but I'll also be showing you guys my curly hair routine. I mean, I'm not really like a like a super like in-depth hair person, so like, you have to see how this goes. If this is your first time seeing me ever in life, which it probably is unless you're my mom. Hi, mom. Yeah, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. That really helps out a player like myself. Also, don't forget to check out all my social media. There's Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, the spam page, TikTok, and all of that will be linked down in the description box below. Now, without further without further ado, let's let's go back in time about five hours ago when I actually started this whole process. Bye. Hey y'all, what's that? So, um, yeah, so pretty much right now what I'm finna do is I'm finna take off this nasty, disgusting, trifling, dirty wig that I've had on for, uh, I don't, was it two weeks? I think it was two weeks. So we're gonna take that off. Yeah, I know I look a little rough, I'm a little rough. Then after that, we're going to take out these nasty, I think, I think these months, like, the, I think these braids are about two months old. So then we're gonna take out these two month old braids. Yeah, I know. It's a little rough. It's dirty. I know. I'm so sorry. Yeah. So basically, y'all just gonna watch me take out these uh, real nasty braids. And then, you know, we'll see what happens next. Purr. Hold on. Stop the cameras. What face is that? Now, of course, with me looking like the new pretty, pretty princess that I am, I decided to go, you know, get the reactions of my very close and dear family members on my new look. First was my sister. Am I pretty now? Mm -hmm. Your hair is long. Next was my brother. Do I look pretty now? Lastly, we had my mother. Mom, do I look pretty now? Why does everyone keep saying? Kitty, am I pretty now? Child, after being lied to three times and ignored once, it was finally time for me to wash all this dirt out my head. Walk the shower. So I washed my hair. So since I washed my hair, I'm going to first and foremost, um, a bitch is balding. Hold on. Hold hold on. Bitch, what why do I have a ball of hair in my hand? Why? 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 This is supposed to be in my head. Since we have done the, the dirty work, I'm gonna go get dressed. Then after I get dressed, 
I wanted to show you guys what I used to wash my hair because I was gonna take y'all in the shower with me, but um, y'all gotta take y'all to dinner first. You can't just see me naked. <sighs> I'm back. So I'm gonna show you guys what I used to um, you know, wash my hair so like that. I'll be honest before we even get into this. <laughs> I'm not a hair person, so I don't. It's not clear what I'm doing. Also, I had to literally scalvage in here for conditioner because it seems like of the um, three females that just happen to live in the house, no one has conditioner. I'm not saying it's um it's ghetto, but I'm saying do better. So what I did was I washed my hair and then I guess I washed my hair with shampoo and then I rinsed it out and then afterwards I put a deep conditioner in my hair because that's the only conditioner I could find and then I combed my hair out and then I rinsed it out and now we're here. So I'm gonna show you guys um like what shampoo and stuff I use. I think I think they're good stuff because they, it says like shea butter and stuff on it. So I'm under the impression that it's muy muyento. That's not a word. Is that a word? That's not a word. I'm scratch that. Scratch that. Um, to wash my hair, I use the Shea Moist wait Shea Moisture Professional Cocoa Shed Bio Lipid Complex with Agave Nectar and Black Seed Oil. It's moisture infusion shampoo. You know, for the girls with dry skin, dry scalp, you know, everything over here is real dry. We got the moisturizer, you know, make it nice, soft, and supple. So that's what it looks like. I don't know if y'all can see it or not. You don't see it? You don't see it? Right here? Right here? Right here? The bottle's like halfway empty, so mm, I told y'all to get up. Next, to deep conditioner my hair. Deep condition my hair. I used the uh, Shea Solutions made with Shea Butter Deep Conditioner and co-wash and moisturizes and strengthens, strength, 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 strengthens, and can be used as a cleanser. Ooh, it's a tooth in one. Here's this one, hold on. Right here, right here, right here, right here, right here. That's what I used. And then I combed out my hair with like this wide tooth comb or whatever, but like, I don't know if I trust this no more. Y'all saw how, uh, you know, pull all my hair out. Ghetto. So here's what we're going to do. We are going to blow dry my hair and then after that we're going to... We're going to moisturize and blow dry my hair. That's what we're gonna do. Yeah, and then we'll figure it out from there. Yeah. Yeah. That's what we're gonna do. I like that. I like that. That's what we're gonna do. Alright. We're done with that. So now that, okay, so what I used was, actually I blow dried my hair on cool, but um, y'all saw that me and her were fighting. Then I used the Blue Magic Argan Oil Vitamin E Leave-In Condition. More conditioner. Yada, then I used that to moisturize. Right, ha. Now here's what we're gonna do. We're going to corn roll it so we can get it ready to go on this stocking cap so we can proceed to wash and reinstall this wig. All right then. Oh, I am not a professional air braider person, corn roller. I only know what I can do is what I can lose. All right. We're done. Oh, yeah. So, you know, I did the cornrows. Oh, no, I'm playing. Y'all can't even see that. <laughs> Y'all can't even see that. So, now we're done with my hair. I'm gonna grease my scalp with, uh, uh Gonna grease my scalp with this blue magic original super sugar growth made with shea butter, jababa oil, and Japanese green tea leaves. Per. Oh, uh, you guys are just gonna watch me grease my scalp. Sunshine, lollipops, and rainbows. Da 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 da
greasing my scalp when we're all nice and moisturized. The beauty of my braids looking like this, I'm not gonna see it, I just need my hair to lay down as flat as possible. <sighs> I'm talking way too fast. Uh, the good thing about these braids looking like absolute garbage is the fact that we're going to cover them up with a stocking cap anyway. Now, this is the exact same stocking cap that I wore in the first place. But since I don't do the stocking cap method anymore because I just don't see a point in it, it's pretty much still good to go. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this nasty gross part and we're going to put it in the back. It's going to turn around like this. So if you think I'm going to waste a whole nother stocking cap just to re-put on a wig, you're smoking crack. Okay, there we go. Now into washing this wig. Purr. Hey y'all. So, when I wash my wig, I like to use a nice combination of four things. I like to use the glue removing shampoo. I like to use an old toothbrush that I used to use for my edges. And then I also like to use a spray bottle. And so basically what I like to do is I like to wet the lace with the spray bottle at first. And then after that, I go in with the glue removing shampoo and I really lather it up and I really let it really rub it into the lace that way I can get that way I can remove a lot of the lace glue after that I take the toothbrush and I use it as like a scrubber like kind of like a sponge thing so I can rub off a lot of the glue and a lot of the residue and then after that I rinse it off and then I'm pretty much done with getting the we're pretty much done with washing the lace And don't be afraid to get back in there and, you know, get off the little extra glue that you didn't get the first time, whatever. All right, so after I clean the lace, what I like to do is for, to clean the entire wig, I use the Shimmerized Color Enhancing Shampoo. Now, I think that it's actually meant for only blonde and silver hair, but, you know, what, what is life without risk? So, I use that, and then what I do is I put it in my hand first, and I lather it up, just like I do with the glue removing shampoo. So, I lather it up, then I put it on the wig. Then, you know, I really let it get all up in there, all nice and clean-like. Then, after that, then I take some more shampoo, and then I put it directly on the wig. That way, we can really make sure that's nice and clean, and it really has that nice, clean feel. Then, after that that we rinse it out once again and then we're done and then it's nice and clean it's pretty all right let's get into the real meat of the video so here's what we're going to do so since you just put the wig back on your head it's going to be all nappy and stuff because you just washed it so what you want to do is you want to comb it out nice and straight make it look all nice and purty then you want to get the hair out of the way of the lace that way you don't glue the actual hair down to your head and you just glue down the lace so you want to pin that up with duck clips or whatever clips you got then after you do that, you want to take some got to be glue styling gel, the invisible styling gel. And what you want to do is I take a paintbrush because, you know, sis is creative. So I take the I take the paintbrush as my applicator and then I use the then I use the paintbrush to put the glue to apply the glue directly up under the lace that I'm gluing down to my head. Because you don't want to miss and glue extra hair down to your head that's not needed. We don't want unneeded hair. So then after that, we want to hold down the part that we just glued because you want to do this in three sections. You want to do side, middle, side. That way you're not, it's not overwhelming and stuff doesn't slip out of place. So we're going to do one side right now and then we're going to glue it. Then we're going to hold it down, the lace and everything. We're going to hold it down. Then we're going to use the blow dryer to dry it. And then we're going to continue. And then after that, we are going to use the got to be spray. We're going to come behind blow drying it, the styling gel down. Then we're going to use the got to be spray and spray it down some more for that extra hold. Then after we do that, we're going to hold it down again after we spray it. Then we're going to blow dry it once again to make sure that's nice and has this nice hold. And then you're going to repeat the step for the next, for the middle and the other side. And then you want to hold, put a scarf on. That way you know it's all nice and secure. Okay, bet. So, since we're done cleaning the wig and, you know, we installed and everything and we're looking good and scrumptious, what we're going to do now is we're basically going to put a scarf on, like I said, and we're going to blow dry it out, make it nice and dry so we can go ahead and go in and style it to make ourselves look good. OK, 
Okay, now quick tip. Make sure to blow dry your wig on cool. That way you don't heat damage the hair. I've got to say that, but here you go. All right, then our next step what we're going to do is we're going to flat iron and flatten the hair as much as possible. That way it looks as natural as possible. And we're just going to overall flatten it and, you know, style it out. We're done. Per. Period. Ah. Ooh. Per. That's how it came out. Now, I could have like flat ironed like the rest of the hair, but I'm gonna be honest. It's like 10 o'clock at night. A nigga has laid his time in since school in the morning. I, mm -mm -mm -mm, I'm tired. I'm ready to go to sleep. But I was trying to put contour on, you know, to get the full scalp fantasy. But then I gave him halfway through and I don't care anymore. But that's just about wrapped up this video. If you stayed to the end, I love you. And I owe you my kidney. But yeah. Like I said before, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It helps out and I'll play it out. Also, never forget to check out all my social media. There's Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, up, the spam page, and TikTok. And they are all linked in the description below. Don't forget to create your own happiness. And I will see you the next time I decide to embarrass myself from the internet. No, I'm just playing. Bye. Bye.